The news about Michael Gambon's passing broke the hearts of his fans all over the world. We are devastated to announce the loss of Sir Michael Gambon, the actor's widow, Anne and son, Fergus, said in an official statement. The 82-year-old actor had a bout of pneumonia, and it took his life. During his last minutes, his family was by his side, so he passed away peacefully. Let us look back at Michael Gambon's immense legacy in cinema and also celebrate his wonderful, humorous side. Plus, see how the Harry Potter actors and his other co-stars will remember him. Since Sir Michael was such a famous and adored actor, tribute started pouring in immediately. The British journalist, Piers Morgan, recalled how Gambon once shared with him that all he ever wanted to do was act, and he called him an acting genius. Jared Harris, the son of Richard Harris, reminded everyone of how Sir Michael took over the role of Dumbledore from his father after he'd passed away. Which was fitting as he overtook Brando as my father's favourite actor, Harris added. The actor also shared a clip that showcased Gambon's amazing sense of humour. Yeah, I said that was a valid answer at the Royal Ballet. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> In between us star, Blake Harrison shared that Sir Michael was the funniest actor he'd worked with. Dame Helen Mirren agreed and added that she'll always smile thinking of the now late actor. And of course, the world of Harry Potter reacted with praise and kind words about Sir Michael. Rupert Grint was one of the first Potterverse actors to pay tribute. He captivated me as a kid and became a personal role model of mine for finding the fun and eccentricities in life he wrote in an Instagram post. The Ron actor also said that Sir Michael brought much warmth and mischief to their days on the set. Daniel Radcliffe shared his tribute in a press statement, saying that, with Gambon's passing, the world has become considerably less fun. He was silly, irreverent and hilarious. He loved his job, but never seemed defined by it, the Harry actor said. And he also recalled how he spent a lot of time with Sir Michael during the filming of The Half-Blood Prince. Then it was Emma Watson's turn to commemorate the actor. You never took it too seriously, but somehow delivered the most serious moments with all the gravitas, she wrote in an Instagram story. And she thanked Sir Michael for teaching them to wear greatness lightly. The Lucius Malfoy actor, Jason Isaacs, commented that he learned what acting could be from Gambon's performance in The Singing Detective. He called it complex, vulnerable, and utterly human. The greatest thrill of being in the Potter films was that he knew my name and shared his fearless, filthy sense of fun with me, the actor added. Fiona Shaw, who played Petunia Dursley, said that Gambon had always been a brilliant, magnificent trickster. He amazed her even more because he wasn't only an actor, but also a gunmaker. The Ginny Weasley actress, Bonnie Wright, wrote on Instagram that she'd always been in awe of his performance. He was Dumbledore through and through a constant, warm and guiding figure, she shared. For her on-screen brother, Sir Michael meant even more than we know. James Phelps, aka Fred Weasley, wrote on Twitter that Gambon was a legend on and off camera and he recalled how the actor helped him prepare for his weekend gig in between takes of Harry Potter. Notably, this was while they were filming Dumbledore's death scene in The Half-Blood Prince. For James, it forever remained one of his highlights on the set. The Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling also remembered Gambon in her post. She called him a wonderful man and an outstanding actor and added, I absolutely loved working with him, not only on Potter, but also the casual vacancy. Even the official Harry Potter account issued a statement on Twitter. He brought immeasurable joy to Harry Potter fans from all over the world with his humour, kindness and grace, their post said. His legacy is indeed unforgettable. Gambon's career spanned six decades, and he had over 150 TV and film credits. He began acting as one of the original members of the Royal National Theatre in London and went on to star in multiple Shakespeare plays. Several of Gambon's roles made him a legend. Among them, of course, is Professor Albus Dumbledore in six of the eight Harry Potter films. Plus, fans will remember him playing Detective Jules Maigret in the TV series Maigret and Philip Marlowe in The Singing Detective. Sir Michael also portrayed two real kings of England, 
King Edward VII, and later his son, King George V. Then he added another historical figure to his resume by playing Winston Churchill. In 1998, Gambon was knighted for services to the entertainment industry. He also won four BAFTAs for his outstanding performances. Yet over the past decade, he struggled with acting. In 2015, Sir Michael retired from stage acting because he started experiencing memory loss. Once he was even rushed to the hospital with a panic attack caused by forgetting his lines. Thankfully, Gambon had a strong support system at home during that difficult time. He had a son with his first wife, Anne Miller, and two more children with his girlfriend, Philippa Hart. The actor's death is certainly a huge loss for them and all of us. But let us remember that, through playing Dumbledore, Gambon taught us to find happiness even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light, we will do our best to find the light. Rest in peace, Sir Michael. Wands up. <laughs>